Behold, for I am at the gates of Babylon. Playing Meat Boy. <laughs> You're still <laughs> trying to work in. Boy. It actually happened accidentally there, which is a little bit terrifying. Yeah, uh, I don't want to ever say that on purpose. You're not in control. <laughs> oh man, that was a nice fake out. Whoa, Open a portal on? far on? away from where you want to, where you think you're going. Oh, oh Joe. Close. What? You're bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to give Nick the controller. Oh shit! <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> um. Oh man, it's getting oh, so late. Duh. We're still on the same session from the last time I said I was getting late and I was getting uh... punchy. Uh, okay, I thought it was going to keep going and just really okay, mess with you. I do need to wait until it's so I can drag down while it's going down. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be tough. Do I have any space up there? Not really. Mm. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go right over that. Can you stop in the middle? No, you nope. can't. Oh, boy. What the, What is this game? Oh. <laughs> this game is so abusive. Um. What? Oh, <laughs> jeez. I have I have another cat in my lap to continue conversations from previous episodes. Oh, cats. Uh, Scout. We have lots of cats, yeah. And Scout is a female cat who's almost as old or roughly the same age as Barnabas. I can't remember. She doesn't look it as much, but she um, she's got some arthritis and stuff, and she gets grumpy. She is the meanest cat we have. Um, oh my God! More areas. Okay, Jeez. there's a key above. This is the oh. craziest level so far. This is nuts. Yeah. Scout is in this, like, really awkward place where her moods will just completely swing. And all cats' moods swing, of course, but she will be sitting in your lap, totally loving you. You shift in some weird way. It hurts her because she has arthritis. And then she just decides to destroy your hand. <laughs> yeah. And so now that she's in my lap, I'm kind of like, mm. I hope nothing like that a happens. Demon sleeps within. Yeah. <laughs> just hope nothing like that happens mid-recording. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Oh, I forgot to start a timer. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Nick. Do you even timer, bro? Oh, I don't. I often, I often don't. That's true. Um. So. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, you go ahead. Well, mine are really generic. What's your favorite song right now? Favorite song right now? Well, it's kind of an easy answer because my favorite song has been the same for quite a while. Okay. Um, it's Every Planet We Reach is Dead by the Gorillas. Nice. And, nice. I mean, oh, That's man. surprising to me, actually, that would be your favorite. It is 100% my favorite, and I don't know that a song is coming close to, to changing that for a long time. I don't know why that is that it surprises me, but it does. It catches me off guard somehow. Oh, what about it? I, I just said. So you, you don't know? <laughs> I literally just explained that I don't know what it is, well, but something about it catches me off guard. So, I guess I can tell you what it is that, that works for me. Uh -huh. um, I mean, the lyrics are nice and somber, and I like I like some, some somber drama, but um, the, the sounds, I don't know, it's just like, it. not a lot of songs put me on an adventure in my mind. Yeah. And the, the way that the, the way that song builds up and just breaks into the cacophony that it does, the very kind of sound odyssey cacophony, <laughs> just, oh man, it, oh. It, uh, it takes my mind places without me really having to try. My mind places. <laughs> my mind places. But I, I don't know, not a lot of music does that for me, and I, I don't think any music ever hit me as hard. I didn't listen to that song for a long time. I listened to some gorillas. Yeah. Didn't know that song existed. Huh. Happened to be, you know, Pandoring and uh, came across a random radio song, uh, a random gorilla song on the radio, and... Oh man. Hmm. I was just like, woo! What's your favorite song? <sighs> That's right now. tough. I think wow. uh, that big data song that I was trying to tell you about in the car recently, but I couldn't, is, is ranking up there. Um, it, Dangerous, I think, is the name of the song. Oh, it's not really? actually, it's somebody featured in big data. Yeah. That's one of them up there. It's really good. Um, I wanted to say, but it's become so overplayed on the radio. Um, Take Me to Church by Hozier. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's a, just an amazing song. Like it's so visceral. <laughs> visceral, yeah. That's the word sure. I use. I mean, it, it is. Sure. Just like it's intense. Yeah, it gets deep. There's a lot of meaning of those words and a lot of emotion there. That's that's sold in it. And then the video adds another layer on mm. top. Um, so that may still be mine, but I was really disappointed that, like, 
it hadn't been played on the radio, hadn't been played on the radio, and then once the radio did get to it, they just destroyed it, like, mm -hmm. by playing it constantly. I would have liked uh, it to have more radio play early on and then just sort of slowly taper off, and instead it's just growing and growing to the point of nauseam, you know? So, all right. Um, th that was definitely the same case. I feel like with a lot of people on, um, oh, what was the song? Gautier's, uh... Yeah, exactly. Uh, when it hit, first came name? out, it was, uh, somebody that I used to know. Oh, yeah. That, that's, I, I liked it. And yeah. then I oh, didn't like God, it because great. I heard it somebody every five minutes. I used to know. Uh, why is that? What is it in now our brains? Just is it... somebody that I used to know. I understand why new things are interesting because they challenge our brain. We're like yeah. receiving new information. So, what is it that are makes makes something worse after repetition? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think it's just man. That's that's kind of hard to answer, isn't it? Yeah. Like because it's still a good song. Mm -hmm. Like, objectionally, it's 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 definitely a good song. Um. I don't know, I guess we just crave the new stuff, still. Like, you stop being interested Let's... because you want something new. You want new experience, sure. and so if something gets over-repeated, you just start deciding that you've gotten... You, you're, you're, you're lacking something new to balance against it. So just what you said about new stuff challenging your mind. You need that challenge. Oop, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I know the answer to your favorite movie. Uh, you do? Can you tell it? I believe uh, it would be pretty easy to say Mad Max Fury Road is your new favorite movie. It's not, though. It uh, is huh. really high up there, and it is, I would say, in my top five. Okay. You, you don't know my favorite movie? I don't know. Children of Men. Oh, wait. Have you said this recently on the show? Uh, I forgot maybe? about it. Oh, God. I think oh, God. you did. You did, oh, and no. I, I completely forgot. Oh, that's gonna be obnoxious. Yeah. Oh my this god. This whole game is obnoxious. <laughs> oh my god. I have to survive in that room? Oh my god, they're oh, eating her. No. So children of men. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we discussed it. We did, but, um, we did. Boy, uh, there's just everything right in that movie, and uh, there's certainly things wrong, but everything is right. They didn't do anything wrong, right? So like that's, that's how I can describe it, because... It gets the sense of the world that that it, like, the full history of the world is there. Um, you know that everybody's disparate. There's the background is filled up with graffiti on the walls. Uh, the characters are all very fully fleshed out. The story is surprising. Mm -hmm. um, the main character it goes through action sequences, but is not an action hero. Should you explain a little bit about what the movie is? Oh, I guess so. Right. So it's a dystopia future where. The, the cause of the dystopia is the infertility of humans. Um, which, I mean, is a. Can, can you imagine the damning nature of that? And they have a lot of great little lines about it. Like, the, the thing that really hit me was the, the end of children laughter when you realize you haven't heard ch oh, children wow. laughing. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, and, you know, empty schools. They go to an empty school and it's just there's deer yeah. running around in a. And, man. It's a very um, jarring visual, and, and that that is a good line it too. Opens brilliantly with the the celebrity status of the youngest man in the world. Something like yeah. nineteen or so, twenty or so. Yeah. Um, and uh, do you think it's a statement in any way on the sort of child worship that our culture has grown into as well? Okay. Hey, you Sorry. made it. <laughs> I had to zoom in. Child uh -oh. worship, you said. Do it. Yeah. Well, we kind of have this youth worship in our culture now, where it's like, you know. 40-year-old moms loved Justin Bieber when he was still 16. And... Oh, hmm. And that kind of thing. It's a huge cultural thing that seems at least new. I, I don't know that it is. Um, Maybe. I guess... I don't know. I, I kind of... You gotta lump, stop hitting back on these menus. It's so hard. You only I, have three minutes to beat the boss. I, I'm gonna do it. Um, but it's, I just kind of lump all celebrity worship into this thing that I'm very have a very high same ugly of. category it's, yeah, yeah it's just uh, the need to follow something I don't feel that uh, there's a couple of people that I really look up to um, Russell Brand and John Oliver um, mm. are like they're they're my two oh whoa oh gosh oh oh no oh meat boy the realizations wait a minute 
Oh, this what? is where I died. This is my body because I'm in. Oh no! I didn't. I'm so confused. I mean, I'm so like intrigued. I guess maybe is the better word. So I understand that it's a bunch of dead yous forming a giant you who is attacking you. I don't know why a bunch of giant dead so, yous would band together and attack you, but. I got, remember, I got some harsh memories. Are you to do here. are you a clone? Are you fighting your no. way out of hell? So how do I do this? Maybe I just stand over here for now. That's not gonna work. <laughs> um, I gotta figure out how to jump over this guy. <laughs> how do I get over his hands? Why would flying into a fist? Oh wait, I can just go right kill here, you. Right? Nope. <laughs> I did this before, and now I can't. Do yeah, it. I know, but now you're gonna you're gonna need to practice this boss, I think, off camera. All right. So uh, here, well, here's my the, question. This then. is the memorization boss, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Well, while I'm trying to memorize this, um, I love John Oliver and Russell Brand for their for their brains. Who do you look up to right now in our in our society? Uh, well, also for his mind, Neil deGrasse Tyson is like mm. my favorite celebrity right now, right? Sure. Uh, obviously, we've done to death my conversation about Bruce Campbell just as being. He's sort of this, like, this hero I couldn't have imagined existing in yeah. film um, when I was young, and now that he does exist, like, take something so cheesy and so bad and make it good is, is I don't know if it's, a, if it's a goal for me or anything. It's not that, I wouldn't say, but I just, I appreciate it so much. Oh, you got one lump on his head. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm down with, with those two guys, I would say, as my celebrity yeah. worship. Man, Bruce Campbell is kind of awesome, isn't he? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, and, and you know what's relevant, I think, for this conversation is the sort of celebrity worship of YouTubers now as well. Okay. Like, you take totally normal people... But you put them on a screen, and suddenly they feel like more than normal. Yeah. But, in addition to that, because I definitely feel like I went through some of... Well, maybe still go through a lot of that, actually, with my favorite YouTubers. Game Grumps are the, the ones that I particularly like the most. I know you have some others. Um, but, there's also this sort of element... I mean, obviously Game Grumps have done plenty to earn their status. Ninja Sex Party... Ego Raptors cartoons, like they, they have earned where they are, but the worship maybe, you know, still be a little too extreme. Yeah. Um, but the pursuing of the Let's Play career that you know all the big Let's Players have sort of they've managed to do it, and now the army of people, ourselves included, who are trying to go after that. Yeah is sort of a form of celebrity worship in its own way. Sure. Um, and obviously we've talked before, like, our reasons for doing this are not to make a career on it, but it is an ever-present sort of back layer dream as wouldn't well. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah. yeah, wouldn't it be amazing? That's that's all we can kind of say about it. We don't ever expect it to happen, but it would be amazing if it ever did. Um, I don't know what's coming next. Really, we're doing oh, it for crap. a lot of other reasons. Dang it. Alright, one more death, Joe, and then you're going to have to practice off-camera, because I know this boss. Yeah. And I know he just takes memorization. Oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Next time on Instant Replay Live, you guys can share maybe your uh, celebrity interests in the comments and tell us who you think is worthy of praise or maybe why people aren't, because I think the world needs to think more about that. Not in a negative way. Don't trash anybody. Maybe. I mean, I certainly will. <laughs> You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.